Hello everybody and welcome to the 69th Pi Games tutorial video. In this video we're going to be uh, passing through the strength of our shot through the tank firing function. So right now we have this uh, awesome awesome game, we've got this awesome tank, we have this awesome ability to adjust the power of our tank's cannon, but no matter what we set this power to, the tank's cannon shoots the exact same way. Not good. So. What we want to do is um, is fix that. So what I want to have us do first is you can see here um, in the fire shell, we want to add another parameter, and that is going to be the actual tank's power. So you can see right here, fire underscore power is what we're calling that. So let's go ahead and do comma fire underscore power, easy enough. So then we go up to our fire shell function here. And then uh, we're just going to add in another parameter and we're going to call this gun power. Easy enough. And for now, let's do nothing in this one. And let's go ahead and just copy this function here. Copy the entire thing, all the way including the definition. Enter, enter. And then let's paste. And then let's have a fire shell 2 function. This shell, uh, we're going to fire this one and it's going to be green. And this one will modify to be gun power. So the gun power, uh, our intention, it's not quite the case yet, but we'll make it the case. Our intention is to be anywhere from 1 to 100. So what's the middle of that? 50. So we want 50 to be like no change. And then we want 1 to be very weak. And then we want 100 to be pretty strong. So we come here, fire shell. Let's go down to our Y definition. We're going to leave X now. X doesn't have to be modified anymore. And instead, Y needs to be modified. And if you recall, we have this right here, right? This multiply all of, well, multiply basically this times 0 0.015. And as I was telling you guys before, when we change this number, this is the only thing in our entire algorithm that we have to change to make the shot like go further or, or less, or be stronger or less strong. The larger we make this number, the weaker our shot is, and the smaller we make this number, the stronger our shot is. So how might we actually uh, have this work? Well, you're going to divide this number by power, by some form of the power. I suggest what we do is divide it by, and let's put this in parentheses, gun pow underscore power, and then divide it by 50. So we divide that by gun power divided by 50. So what's that do for us? Well, if gun power is 50, it makes no change at all, right? It divides it by 50 over 50, which is 1. So we divide by 1, no problem. So uh, only when it's you know, if it's larger, it's going to divide it uh, by more, make the number smaller, thus shoot harder. And then if it's um, smaller, it's going to divide it by a lot less. It will actually end up, it'll be a fraction. And then it will basically make this number larger, thus making the shot weaker. So uh, let's go ahead. We've got, we've got the definition of Fire Shell 2, but we have nothing that actually calls Fire Shell 2 into action. So let's go ahead and write something real quick that we'll call, call Fire Shell 2 into action. So we'll come down here um, and uh, let's just call literally uh, Fire Shell. We're just going to copy this and let's just paste it one more time and then just do Fire Shell 2. So every time we press the space, the first one will run, then the second one will run. So we can so we can visualize the difference here. So let's save that and run that. Move this over. Aim this up, shoot once, and shoot twice. So power level 50, there is no change, right? So we just kind of basically retraced over. But now let's make power level 60. Shoot once, cool, shoot twice, and we can see there was a significant difference there. Now we can make power level, I don't know, 90, 89, whatever. And again, we see a significant difference there. Conversely, we can drop this below 50, and we should see another difference. Again, you can see that we made the difference. And then, of course, we can go really low and shoot really close, like 20%. So um, so that's how we can uh, allow the user to pass through 
uh, the power. So since we're content with that, let's go ahead and modify this um, to now be the main function. So first of all, let us uh, let's just delete this. We'll keep FireShell, but you'll see that we'll actually just rename FireShell two to FireShell. So FireShell two now becomes just FireShell, and then this FireShell, the original FireShell function, we'll just delete. Now it would be wise to go ahead and run it one more time and make sure that uh, you've made the proper change. So should be the new one will be green, of course. Uh, we'll change that back to red, though. Don't worry. Cool. So we'll close out of this. Okay. Um, and yeah, let's change that to red. You can make it whatever color you want, though, of course. And um, and that's basically it for the strength. We don't have to really change that anymore. So now we've got firing, strength, all of that. So that's pretty cool. And now we're ready to start building um, the uh, impact, right? So right now, this is cool. We're happy about our arc and it's shooting and we're proud. But the problem is nothing really happens on impact. So it hits the ground and we start, you know, over, that's fine. Or maybe we hit the barrier and, oh, well, actually we can't hit the barrier, so that's not in effect yet. But we should be able to hit the barrier and instead of just nothing, we kind of want, first of all, a hit to register. So we need to know whether or not we hit the barrier, another tank, or the ground. And then if so, well, when the shell hits, whatever it hits, there's like an explosion, right? And so we want to be, we want to include that into our game. So that's what we're going to be doing in the uh, next video in the next few videos really so stay tuned for that hopefully you guys are enjoying as always thanks for watching and until next time